TJ, give me a little slack on blue. Today we have a unique opportunity to train with the USS American Victory ship. They offered their ship's hull to do a confined space training. Paso County Fire Rescue Special Operations Division are bringing all three of our different shift crews down to do some advanced confined space training. In real life, we'll be ready when it's time for a true emergency. Our crews will be hauling, balling, and ready to go. It's amazing to me because we're on part of living history right here. To get to train on their ship that's been through so much is just amazing. Careful. It's very critical to have this training because we can have some unique situations that they've never came across. How close are we? Steve, four feet, four feet. Steve. Our scenario today is we had a victim overcome to some fumes down into the, the shaft way of a, of a large ship. We're going to have to get shoulders in here. So we had to send some crews down 50, 60 feet down the, down the shaft. It's, it's very difficult. Some of these, the patient himself was over 200 pounds. The crews had to come up with a me mechanical advantage system down in the ship's hall in the dark. They adapted, they overcame, and they made it work. What we can also do after our scenarios are finished, we will critique it, we'll run another, we'll run it again, and we'll perfect on it. Let's lay him down on his back. In today's scenario, it was hugely successful. Our guys were able to successfully retrieve the patient without incident, and it's a confidence booster into them. So that way, when we have an emergency scenario in the future, they'll be able to rock and roll. Black on yellow. Black on blue, black on yellow. That is pretty amazing right there. The shaft that the firefighters had to drop through to reach the ship's deck was very narrow. You heard him say it was a confined space, 24 inches wide and 60 feet long. Uh, so if you're claustrophobic and afraid of heights, probably not, not the career choice for you. Yeah. But